Hey, what's up? Hey guys, my name is Rat and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create animated handwritten text in After Effects. So if you wanna learn something new today, keep on watching. Okay, so I have a new After Effects project. I've created a new composition 1920 by 1080 and now I'm gonna create a new text layer. So click on the type tool here, type hand writing, okay. And I will align the text, so there's the line. And now I wanna choose a more interesting font. I have already downloaded the font from the font.com. So you, you can go to the font.com and download whatever font you like. I went to calligraphy and I chose one of the one of those fonts. So I just typed hint writing and I can see how it's gonna look. So I just chose one of those. I'm gonna change it. It's called Day Love. Okay. I will align it again. Okay. And now let's animate this text. So to animate the text, you need to click on the text, click on the pen tool, and you need to start creating a path that follows the text. Okay, so there's one path here, and, and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna create a second one now. Uh, I'll click somewhere outside the text. Now I'll click again on the text, again on the path tool. I'll create another line. I'll click somewhere outside again. I'll click on the path tool, click on the text, create another one. Okay, and we continue like this with the rest of the text. While you're doing this, you need to think of how the text is gonna be animated. So you don't need to focus too much on how you uh, make the path because you can change it later also it's not a big deal if it's not the best path you can create a uh, create a more rough one and it's gonna work fine as well so you need to just create a path and after you create it we'll see how it's gonna work uh, i might speed up this part of the video so it's just me going around the text You just follow the path okay I'm leaving the dots and this part for later because I want to make them separate and right now I want to create a separate one for this part so clicking outside the text clicking again here and making separate one there you go and I'll make a quick one for those dots I'll ju just make it something like irregular like this that oh, my mistake okay so that should work and I'll also make another one for this dot here so something like that should be okay so I'll just move it a bit but yeah Okay, there, there you have it. So right now if you click on M for mask, you can see all the masks we've created. The first three ones are the ones we created here on the H. The fourth one is the really, really long one we created. And those are the last three we created here. And right now we need to animate it. To animate it, we go to effects and presets. We type stroke. Okay, so here you have it, generate stroke and it comes here as an effect and right now we click on O masks and we click on reveal original image and right now it looks awful it's basically what i did with the pen tool it doesn't look too great and if you start moving the end it starts animating but so it's animating uh sequentially so basically it starts from the first one second one third one and it starts moving like that so the last one is gonna be the last one we created so i think it was this dot so yeah 
so basically right now we need to increase the brush size so by increasing the brush size we're right now using the brush as a mask so if i click on original image you, you have an idea what i'm doing by this brush is is overlapping with the text and it's revealing the text behind it so it's basically a mask so we want to click on original image you don't <clears throat> you don't want to create a too too big of a brush size because it basically starts overlapping with the other words so for example if the path here is too big it's going to start overlapping with this letter so we want to find something in the middle so the moment it starts revealing the whole text i'm going to stop so somewhere around here and you can always obviously move the mask and it's going to change how uh, you can move the path and it's going to change how the mask reacts but i'll leave it like that for now and we'll see if there's a problem somewhere it might be a little bit of a problem with a text like this because we have like really white and also a bit more narrow parts of the text so we'll see how it works in a second but basically let's create a new keyframe here so i'm clicking on the stopwatch here i'll come to the text layer here and i'll click U on the keyboard. By clicking U, we can see all the uh, properties in the text or in whatever layer that, that have keyframes on. So, and I'll come to a second ahead, maybe two seconds, and I'll move the keyframe here and I'll come to the beginning and I'll move the end to zero. And right now we have this animation. So basically it's actually working really well but you can see that sometimes like for example here because the masks are overlapping it might not look as great you need to understand where the problem is coming from so basically it's coming from this here because the mask is too big and it's overlapping so there you go that should be better if we move this down a bit it should work a bit better but generally it works fine we can try reducing the brush size a bit okay maybe that's better 14 okay something like that and i'll move this a bit down this part okay so right now it's generally fine we can adjust it a bit more but get the idea so the only thing i don't like about the animation right now is is that it doesn't have any motion blur and if we turn on the motion blur here it doesn't work because we're not moving the actual layer in the composition we're not moving it anywhere if we animate the movement it's going to create motion blur but the effect doesn't create any movement so we need to create we need to add a cc force motion blur so you can just type motion blur and you got cc force motion blur and we add it okay so there you have it you get a bit of a motion blur it's gonna look a bit better and you can play with the keyframes but generally this is the handwriting effect Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, I'll be making a lot more of those video and animation tutorials, trying to teach you something new, uh, so please consider subscribing, also please leave a comment below if you think there's a better way to creating this effect or if you enjoyed the effect as a whole, leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.